So you've got some good people there. Uh, what I would like to also see is an emergency government put in place as soon as possible. Right? The Tories are still largely barging over leadership. That's fine. But they're not running the country properly. And I think we should have an emergency government, a national government. And I was thinking a good idea would be to make it up of prime ministers. So you could have John Major, excellent. Tony Blair, um, Gordon Brown. Uh, who else have we got? Um, oh, there's, there's, there's lots. Former prime ministers and a national emergency government to deal with the cost of living crisis and sort out the fuel companies once and for all. So you can't be as greedy as that and upping people's bills. Bring the bills down. The more profit you make, the more you bring the bills down. Scotty, my friend, what's new with you? Well, Adam, I'm just saying, replacing Westminster for Brussels, yes, because remember, Westminster takes and Brussels gives, right? We begged on our bended knees in this country. A lot of you are too young to remember. We begged on our bended knees to be part of Europe, and we got told no by General Charles de Gaulle. So I thought it was a bit mean of General de Gaulle after we'd done so much for him during the Second World War in France. However, that doesn't matter. We begged and begged and we kept begging. And eventually in 1971, we got accepted and got in. Best thing we ever did. And then we had 50 years of peace and prosperity. We had the terrific strength of 52 other countries. Yes? And hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, 510 million people. Not bad for when you're negotiating a trade deal, I can tell you. So that's what we should have done. Brussels, let's get back in there. ASAP. Okay, fair play. My lips are sealed. Follow back, no problem. What do you boss around, boss? Well, I don't really boss anybody. I just am the boss. Always have been. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, there we go. I feel that if a new Westminster government was put in place, it would change drastically. Well, I think an emergency national government, and once we get the country running properly and people's bills down, then they could, you know, you could either call a general election or let the Tories go back in for now. Uh, you know, because Jeremy Corbyn was very close to getting elected and then he got uh, absolutely assassinated, metaphorically speaking, by the mainstream media. There we have it. Surely that contradicts your point about self-governance. No, no, you're missing the point, Alex. Self-governance within the EU. This country self-governed over 50 years of being in the EU. And you're getting away from the toxic union, which is Westminster. Yeah, I mean, this country should not, Scotland should never, ever, ever be run by Boris Johnson. I can tell you that for nothing. I can't believe Liz Truss actually has a chance of being PM. Neither can I, Mrs. Lani. Especially after what she said about Nicola Sturgeon last week. That was just shocking on a very, very, very basic level. It was appallingly bad mannered. Now, that's not good for a prime minister, I can tell you. Whereabouts are we at? The honest answer is we're here. We're absolutely here. It is what it is. It's happening now. If you own that mug 